So Milton's going to be stealing the headlines from Helene, but we do turn back to Helene this morning. Tima confirming yet another death in the state. Blake joins us again with an update from East Tennessee. Hey, good morning to you, Neil. Yeah, so as one storm prepares to make landfall, it's not lost on so many who are still picking up the pieces from the last one. Friday will mark two weeks since devastating floods from Hurricane Helene swept through parts of North Carolina and East Tennessee. This is video of the damage there. This morning, we're hearing more about recovery efforts from Tima and uh, the eastern part of the state. State. Right now, we confirm the state agency is reporting 16 weather related deaths across Tennessee. This comes as people are still missing in the aftermath of the storm. The TBI says they are pursuing nine active leads, but that does not represent the total number of unaccounted for or people that are unaccounted for right now. Damage to roads and highways continue to be an issue in parts of the state. Governor Bill Lee paying a visit to Cock County on Monday to survey the damage alongside I-40. Lee says 700 workers have inspected over 300 state bridges, 60 local bridges and reopened 30 state routes, but no doubt still a long way to go. North Carolina has closed I-40 at the state line. I-26 is still closed in Unicoi County. No word on when those routes will be reopened. Last night, though, those in Unicoi County did gather to hold a vigil for flood victims. You can see them joining hand in hand, praying for the families. This comes as city officials vow to not stop searching until every missing person is found. The case by case situation on the ground just as dire right now. FEMA processing more than 4000 total calls for help with more than $1.3 million in funding approved for survivors. We certainly anticipate that number to rise. Nikki.